Gmail has been the go-to email service for years, offering advanced AI features, easy Google integration, and reliable spam filtering. It works across all devices and makes organizing emails effortless. However, for Apple users, Apple Mail offers something different, a clean, distraction-free experience built for iPhones, iPads, and Macs. It supports multiple email accounts in one place, ensures better privacy, and feels more natural within the Apple ecosystem. So, which is better for email management, Gmail's multifaceted system or Apple Mail's simplicity and smooth integration? Let's compare and find out which one suits you best. When it comes to how these apps look and feel, Gmail and Apple Mail take completely different approaches. Starting with Gmail, whether you're using the mobile app or the web version, everything feels very Google-like. It's bright, colorful, and packed with features. You can customize the theme, tweak how your inbox is organized, and even enable tabs that sort emails into categories like primary, promotions, and social. It can feel a bit overwhelming at first, especially if you're not used to so many features being packed into one screen. But once you get the hang of it, Gmail offers a lot of control over your inbox. Apple Mail, on the other hand, is much simpler and cleaner. It follows Apple's minimalist design philosophy, meaning there's no clutter, just a basic, no-nonsense inbox. It doesn't have flashy colors or tabs, but everything is exactly where you'd expect it to be. It also looks and feels the same across iPhone, iPad, and Mac, making it a familiar experience across all Apple devices. If you prefer a straightforward and distraction-free email experience, Apple Mail is the way to go. Switching between the two, Gmail can feel like a different email experience, while Apple Mail feels more like a traditional, well-organized letterbox. Now, features and benefits, this is where Gmail and Apple Mail really start to separate. Let's break this down into different aspects. If you have multiple email accounts, Apple Mail handles them much better. Since it's just an email client, you can add multiple accounts, Gmail, Outlook, Yahoo, iCloud, and more, and they all work flawlessly in one place. You get one unified inbox, and all emails look the same, regardless of which service they're from. Gmail does let you add other accounts, but it doesn't feel as natural. The Gmail app still treats non-Gmail accounts differently, and the overall experience isn't as smooth. Plus, if you want Google's extra features like Smart Reply or Automatic Sorting, those only work with Gmail accounts, not others. If you rely on different email providers and want them all in one place, Apple Mail is the better choice. But if you're using just Gmail, then Gmail's built-in tools will serve you well. One of Gmail's biggest strengths is its advanced email organization system. You can label emails instead of just moving them to folders, so one email can have multiple labels. There's also a fast search function, which makes sense since Google is the king of search. If you have thousands of emails and need to find something specific, Gmail will do it much faster and more accurately than Apple Mail. Apple Mail, on the other hand, uses a traditional folder system. It works well but isn't as advanced as Gmail. Its search is also not as fast or accurate. If you're someone who gets hundreds of emails a day and needs to find things quickly, Gmail's search tools are perfect. This is where Gmail really pulls ahead. It has things like Smart Reply and Smart Compose, which suggest responses as you type. If you're in a rush, these can help you reply to emails in just one tap. Gmail also offers AI-powered sorting, automatically placing emails into categories like primary, promotions, and social, so your inbox doesn't get overwhelmed. And if you use Google Calendar, Google Drive, or Google Docs, Gmail integrates with all of them, making it easy to schedule meetings, attach files, and collaborate. Apple Mail doesn't have as many AI tools. However, Apple has started adding Apple Intelligence features, which help with proofreading and rewriting emails. It's not as advanced as Gmail's AI, but it's completely free. If you want cutting-edge AI tools to speed up email management, Gmail is the better pick. But if you just need basic AI assistance without extra costs, Apple Mail works fine.
Both apps take security seriously, but they do things differently. Gmail is famous for its strong spam filtering. Google's AI is always learning, so spam emails rarely make it to your inbox. Apple Mail also has spam filters, but they're not as aggressive as Gmail's, meaning more junk might slip through. Apple Mail, however, is better for privacy. Apple doesn't scan emails for ads or data collection, whereas Gmail's business model relies on data analysis for targeted advertising. If privacy is your top priority, Apple Mail is the better choice. Another key factor to consider when choosing between Gmail and Apple Mail is how well they work offline and across different devices. Starting with Gmail, the web version offers an offline mode, but it requires you to enable it in the settings. Once turned on, you can read, search, and respond to emails without an internet connection, and Gmail will send them automatically once you're back online. The downside is that this only works in Google Chrome. If you use a different browser, you're out of luck. On mobile, the Gmail app automatically stores recent emails for offline access, so you don't have to worry about setting anything up. Apple Mail, on the other hand, handles offline access much more naturally. Since it's a built-in email client, your emails are stored directly on your device, making them available at all times. You can compose, search, and organize emails offline. And once you reconnect, everything syncs automatically. There's no need to enable a special setting. It just works. When it comes to cross-platform availability, Gmail wins by a landslide. You can use Gmail on Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, iOS, and any web browser. Apple Mail, however, is exclusive to Apple devices, Mac, iPhone, iPad, and Apple Watch. If you own a Windows PC or an Android phone, you won't be able to use Apple Mail at all. So, if you frequently work offline or prefer having your emails stored locally, Apple Mail is the better choice. But if you need an email service that works everywhere, across all devices, Gmail is the perfect option. Both apps are free, but storage is a big factor. Gmail gives you 15 gigabytes of free storage, but this is shared across Gmail, Google Drive, and Google Photos. If you hit the limit, you'll need to buy more space with Google One, starting at $6.30 per month for 30 gigabytes. Apple Mail itself doesn't have storage limits, but iCloud Mail only comes with 5 gigabytes of free storage, which is much lower than Gmail. If you need more space, Apple's iCloud Plus plans start at $0.99 per month for 50 gigabytes. If you store a lot of emails, attachments, and files, Gmail's free 15 gigabytes is a better deal. But if you already pay for iCloud storage, Apple Mail won't cost extra. So, which is better? Well, it depends on what you need. If you want AI tools, better search, and deeper integration with Google services, then Gmail is the better choice. It works best if you're using a Gmail address and don't mind Google's data practices. If you prefer simplicity, better multi-account management, and an experience that fits perfectly within Apple's ecosystem, then Apple Mail is the way to go. It's best if you use multiple email accounts and want a cleaner, privacy-focused experience.